There's something to show you. Okay. Well, why am I wearing this? Just do it. Okay. I don't know if I can wear it, so let's do this. What up, Eden? Ethan. Hey, Ethan. What's up, bro? So, Ethan. So, Ethan. Ethan. I remember the time when we went on our camping trip like years ago and uh, we were way behind the guys. <laughs> and I remember us officially bonding for the first time as friends. Uh, we would be talking about girls and video games and stuff like that. It was just kind of Funny. This time we were building a desk in my bedroom and at some point I needed Ethan to hand me the remotes and he handed me one TV remote, my cell phone and the home phone and I just thought that was hilarious and then later during the same time. I said something stupid to Ethan like, hey, you're stupid. And then he's like, dude, you're gonna go to hell for that. And then I said, okay, well then I'll meet you there. And he thought that was so funny, he spit Sprite all over me. You're leaving and that's not cool. Um, God, there's so many memories, whether it be this summer after the gym talking for four or five hours in the parking lot or getting crazy drunk on soju and us puking our brains out i'm gonna miss you dude it's not even cool that you're leaving but i'm gonna miss you and when you get back we're getting drunk memories that i remember something that kind of sticks out there was a time when we were uh we were going to gym cats and i remember i think I was driving, or you were potentially driving, but one of us was driving, and I remember the sky like shooting green, and I freaked out like a little bitch. And then you were just quiet about it. You've always been quiet, never really talking about anything. Um, I remember going to the gym a lot. It was fun. Calling you a pussy for not doing a trick. You never called me one, usually. But it was fun. Did I hope you? I wish you kind of didn't go to the military so you could just, you know, keep tricking, but I don't know, life. Life takes you down different paths. So, I mean, basically, I met you in like eighth grade history class, and like that time that I met you, I decided we were pretty much the same person. We were <laughs> both really cool. We understood a lot about how other people work and things like that. And I don't know, even though I felt like we've, over all these years, we've been really similar, there's times where, I mean, I've learned just who, like, how to be who I am, just be through being your friend and the things you say, how nice you are to people. Best memory, not even best, just one of the ones I remember all the time. As uh, you know this, Ethan, when we were hanging out and, and uh, we were just chilling at your house, or not even at your house, we were driving in your car. And we actually uh, stopped at a park, pulled over, and just sat on the car and looked up at the stars, talked about a whole bunch of stuff space, girls, video games, everything. It was just awesome. I really, I, I really remember that moment vividly. I have some more memory with Ethan. Uh, the first time I ever met him, I was headed over to Jay's and saw this kind of taller guy with really long hair walking. And, um, he just looked at me and like walked past and I was, I was like, wow, that kid's kind of scary looking. And then when I got inside, he's like, oh, I saw you outside. And um, that was just an indication to me. You can't judge that first character by the first um, time you see somebody. Ethan, I hope the Air Force helps you see what I've seen in you all along. I hope it makes you realize that Everything that's great about you is already there. You're already a great person. But I hope it helps you help other people see the greatness that you have and 
I hope people get to see why you've been one of my best friends. What I want to say, I guess, is that I'm real proud of Ethan and all his accomplishments, and I think he's going to do a really good job. And I appreciate him, and I look up to him every single day. Um, and I'm going to miss you a lot, man. So, uh, good luck. Okay. You fucking be safe. And he can bleep that out. I don't fucking care. You be safe. He's going to have to find like some bleeping software because I love you and we're all going to miss you. You're probably one of the closest friends I have and you've always been there for me. So get your ass back home and good luck with your future. Good luck with moving on with it. Love you. You're not gonna go kill yourself, you're just going to basic camp. So Adrian's a pussy, he's a vagina. But yeah, be safe, dude. Don't blow up a grenade in your own hand when you're training. Cause I've heard that shit happens. And it's not cool. Just be safe. Don't do anything stupid. And during your like what's it called? The 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 training where you're like going on a barbed wire and they're shooting guns over you. Don't don't put don't put your head up, bro. Don't do that. I'll see you soon. You've always meant a lot to me. You've always been one of my best friends. And it's gonna be different, man. It's gonna be hard without you. I'm definitely gonna miss you a lot. Ethan, don't ever change yourself. Wherever you go, I will see you again someday. And we will go the world. We'll be K-pop dancers. Our children will be friends and we will grow old together. But stay safe, man. Until next time. Honestly, uh, Ethan, I'm, I'm really going to miss you. You've been one of my best friends for over 11 years. And uh, the only other person I can say that about is Jerome. So you guys really became my brothers. You became my family. And no matter if you're in Korea, Japan, Norway, <laughs> or here, I just want you to remember, you're always going to be my brother, you're always going to be family. I love you, man. Oh, man. Thank you for that. I'll give you guys a real hug in a sec, but What's up? I'll give you guys a real hug in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks again for the video. Mm -hmm. Like Gentry said, don't blow a grenade up in your hand. Seriously, <laughs> if you pull the pin, go away. Throw it at someone. No. Throw it at someone. Anything. I will cherish this. Oh man. Better, because they had it for a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.